Hi there, I'm James Archer, founder of The ShareLingo Project and author of Beyond Words. Um, there's a chapter in here uh, and it has something to do like this, like, you're in America, speak English. How do you feel about that statement? I would like to kind of give you some perspective, if I may, right? So suppose you're a teacher or an engineer or an accountant or car salesman. It doesn't matter what it is because the economy in your country where you live just sucks and everyone is losing their jobs. So eventually you lose your job and then your wife also loses her job. You with me? You and your wife are unemployed. Suppose there's no welfare. No disability check that comes in every month. Well, eventually, you can't make the payments on your car, so they come and repossess it, right? The next thing you know, the bank is knocking on your door and they foreclose on your house. What are your options? You're going to move in with your parents? Your parents don't have any extra money. It's so bad that it's hard to feed your children, all right? And then, out of the blue, one of your cousins who lives in Tokyo, Japan says, come here, we've got jobs. So you and your wife and your kids pack up and you all go to Japan, except for one. You decide you have to leave your youngest child, little Jennifer, with your parents. Because you know, you and your wife will both have to work, but it's okay, it's just temporary, right? So. You get to Japan and your cousin helps you find a job right away. And guess what? All of the people where you work speak English. That's great, right? And you talk to your cousin in English. And of course, you talk to your wife and your kids in English. You just want to work hard and get ahead and get little Jennifer back with the family. Soon, your kids start speaking Japanese because they're going to school there, right? And that's great because, you know, they can translate for you. It's a little stressful that your 10-year-old has to help you talk to the phone company sometimes, but, you know, at least they're better at Japanese than you are. So, eventually, your kids start speaking Japanese to each other instead of English. It's not always that they don't want you to know what they're saying. Well, sometimes it is. <laughs> but now they're starting to think in Japanese, so it's just easier for them to talk to each other. But you still talk to them in English. Now you know you should learn Japanese. You wish you could speak Japanese to talk to doctors and the people in the government, maybe even the police, and especially to talk to your children, all right? So by now, you've tried like a hundred different free Japanese courses and you've tried listening to CDs, and you've used apps on your phone to learn Japanese. But it just doesn't seem to work because everyone you talk to with speaks English. And when you try to speak Japanese to your kids, when you ask them for help, they just laugh at your mistakes. So nothing works. There are Japanese people all around you. You're in Tokyo, Japan, right? But you have no one to practice with. And when you do try, you feel so embarrassed and self-conscious, so eventually you just stop trying. But you don't stop wanting to speak Japanese because when you go out in public and you're talking on the phone to your cousin or your wife in English, sometimes the people around you say, you're in Japan. Speak Japanese. How do you feel? And then, how do you feel when your wife comes home from getting groceries? And in the store, she was talking to your children, in English, of course, and someone with great anger and hostility says, you're in Japan, 
Speak Japanese. She becomes so afraid of confrontation that she won't go shopping, except at the little American store that's five miles away, even though there's a great Japanese store two blocks from your apartment. Now, does this story sound too far-fetched? Because that's what's happening here in America every day. Now, if you want everyone here to speak English, you and I actually have some common ground. You want everyone to speak English. I want everyone here to have the opportunity to speak English. It's kind of the same thing, right? To do that, they don't need people to tell them to speak English. They need someone to help them speak English. Picture yourself back in Japan, and instead of someone saying, speak Japanese, instead they say, I can help you speak Japanese. And then maybe they even want to learn some English. So you get together, and you find that when you're helping them with English, you feel proud. So when you make a mistake in Japanese, you don't feel so embarrassed because you know that they are learning also. So here in America, be that person. Don't demand that people speak English. There's no magic pill to speak English. Be that person that helps someone speak English. We are a nation of immigrants. If you're not full-blooded Native American, you are an immigrant too. Please just think about that. I'm James from the Sharelingo Project. Have a nice day.